So now in this video, we're going to quickly go over the 220 ohm resistor. I use them a lot in my videos for a number of reasons. First off, it's a common value in kits. If you buy resistors, uh, 220. Um, 200 is not common and uh, 250 is not common. You might have to really go out and look for them to get those values, but 220 is common. Also, you got uh, a lot of 5 volt circuits out there. And with 220 ohms of uh, resistance, you're going to end up heating it up to a wattage of about uh, 0 0.113 watts or 113 milliwatts. Now, uh, most resistors that you get in kits and whatnot, you can get higher wattage or lower wattage, but most of them come in 0.25 watts, a quarter watt. Even though it's a quarter watt resistor, it's still recommended to keep that wattage below half of that so it doesn't overheat. So 0.125 watts. And as you can see, the uh, 220 ohm resistor stays below that when you are powering it with 5 volts directly across it. And the next thing we're going to talk about is the current going through a 220 ohm resistor. So for each volt across a 220 ohm resistor, you can expect about 4.5 milliamps of current. So this is rounded off from doing the math. Also, uh, 220 ohm resistors usually aren't perfectly 220 ohms and they don't usually have a perfect voltage across them. But uh, for each volt, you can expect approximately 4.5 milliamps of that current. So if you double that, you can expect twice that current. And these are rounded off. So I did the math individually with them and then rounded them off. Three times the voltage, three times the current, and so on. Pretty straightforward. Also, you'll see this protecting uh, LEDs quite a bit with a 5 volt uh, power supply. So LEDs should stay below 20 milliamps of current. So you may think you have to keep the power supply to 4 volts, but the LED when it's in series actually drops. It takes away some of the voltage from the uh, resistor. And uh, so red LED is going to drop about 2 volts. You'll end up with about 13.6 milliamps of current going through both components. Blue LEDs, they drop 3 volts usually. And so you can expect about 9.1 milliamps of current going through it. It's not as dim though as the red LED just because it's naturally brighter. So I usually use an even higher value resistor than 220 to protect a blue LED. So it doesn't over the power of the red LED. And now we're going to quickly talk about the uh, color code of resistors. And uh, the different color bodies will often indicate different material they're made out of. We're not going to go into great detail of that or in great detail of the uh, color code. We're going to keep this specific to the 220 ohm resistor. So when it comes to the color code, red is 2. So you can see you got two next to two right there. That's uh, digits. So with the uh, blue resistors, they usually have a 1% tolerance and another uh, band right there. So the uh, third band there is usually another digit. So black for zero. You can see zero up there. Um, but uh, when it comes to the beige ones, they usually have four total uh, bands and the uh, tolerance is on the right there. But uh, there's uh, for 220 ohms, you'll see a brown band next to two, two. So that means uh, 1 for 1, 0, or you could say times 10 when it comes to the multiplier. It's a little different. So 2, 2, and then one more 0 for 220. Whereas the uh, blue one, we got uh, one more digit, 2, 2, and 0 for 220. Now, the uh, multiplier band, now the black one, means uh, no more zeros for the most part, or times 1. Now, when it comes to the tolerance band, as we said before, brown is 1. And uh, in this case, it means one more zero. Here it means 1% higher or lower than its rated value. As I mentioned before, just because it's a 220 ohm resistor, if you have a perfect one volt, it won't come out to a perfect amount of current because it could be 1% higher or lower. If it's a gold band, gold doesn't have a one to zero uh, number to it. It's just used to indicate 5% tolerance. Uh, and, and there's a couple other uses, but for the most part, it's the tolerance, usually if you see a beige, a carbon resistor. So it could be 5% higher or lower. But in any case, this is my uh, quick video series. This one went on longer than I expected. Um, so we're going to end it there. Check out one of the other videos I'm posting to the screen. See you in the next one.